Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I am back with another Let's Play in the Mindfighter server. This one should be quite fun. We're going to be going into the end, so let's just see what happens and let's just get right on into it. So I'm for once going to go and do my job and I'm going to make this end really pretty because if you guys do not know, long, long time ago, uh, me, uh, Die Cake was giving out jobs that people could do for money and I chose to make the end pretty and I never ever did it. So we're going to finally get around to doing it. And first, we're going to get rid of this. We're going to make it quite, quite pretty. Actually, we'll get around to that. We're first going to block off everything everything basically and i'm going to just place this uh right on top of here for a minute so i can get my stuff whenever i need it uh but yeah we're going to place slabs hopefully in a lot of places maybe not the whole oh my oh what what am i doing i i i what am i getting myself into this place is so big this is like millions of blocks it feels like Okay, so maybe just let like important like paths and what paths and whatnot. So this is the room where you spawn, and this is just what I have so far. I have just a nice little anvil. This is all slabbed in, by the way. Another anvil, two uh uh uh, uh crafting tables. There we go, and then chests. And every single person in the server should have their own chest. I don't know if this is enough. If not, we'll also put some over on this side and that side. Uh, I don't know everyone's name, so I just put the few people's names that I do know. Die Kick, me, Beaston, aka the leaders, and me. Uh, everyone else, they can, I'll have signs that are blank. They can just destroy them and place it and put their name on it. So Die Kick swooped in, and I mean that, mean that quite literally. He literally came in like with his Elytras and like swooped into my base. And he saved my life. He gave me one, two, three, four, five, one second, six, seven shulker boxes filled with uh stone bricks so die kick once again you are amazing you're just so you're just so cool you're just so amazing when it comes to minecraft uh also that reminds me though i really really should probably move this over down to the uh, place underneath and i need to get rid of like one thing really fast but i'll, I'll, I'll come back so now I also have, if you come up here, you can go into this little room, and each of these have a few pumpkins in it, and I'm also going to be bringing over all the pumpkins uh, that I've gotten going AFK over at my place, and I'm also going to do these over here. Now before I show you guys this, please, please, please do not judge my uh, path-making skills. I'll probably ask Sabrina or Daikik to fix it up. But if we head in this direction, yes, I know it looks awful. Uh, you can also head up these stairs, and there are some chests with some ender pearls, and you can throw it into the per portal to go to, well, the other end place cities, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I'm also going to be making an enderman farm, and because I don't really know what to do right now, because that's like kind of the main things, is the path up there and the pumpkins, uh, I'm going to start on that, the enderman farm right now. So to begin, uh, this is a farm by Nembomb, I think you pronounce his name. Uh, he is a pr he's a good YouTuber. He's really, really smart when it comes to um, game mechanics and stuff like that. So I'm going to go off a design for him, and we'll see what happens. But to start out with, we have to get down to um, zero, zero. <laughs> uh, not zero, zero, just level zero. So to do that, you're supposed supposed to here I'm gonna make that like that you're supposed to place some lava like so and you're supposed to let it go to the bottom I don't think it was supposed to branch out like that but I'm not positive so we'll just leave it for now and I'm just going to let that go and wait all right so if we take a look now it is no longer falling which is good so I should just place a bucket right here perfect and you'll see that all the cobblestone generates and goes all the way down to the bottom we can take this water bucket back and we can also take this lava bucket back and i'm going to place that up here just just to make sure and that was pretty successful so now with uh 
okay, you know what? I'm going to leave this here, and I'm going to do my best to go to the very bottom. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. And not die. And place a block right there. Okay, I did it. I did it. And I'm just going to make a little bit more of a platform like so. Yeah. Oh no, this is bad. This is real bad. All right. All right, great. Perfect. I'm just going to swim right back up now. By the way, video down in the description below for a uh, Nem... Uh, link in the description below for Nembob's video on how to make this for yourself. It's super duper simple, and it seems to do really, really good spawn rates, so we're going to be using it. Uh, also, I would like to thank uh, Sabrina for giving me a shulker box full of lease because we're going to need quite a few of them. Alright, so I pillared out 200 blocks, and you can't even see uh, the place anymore, the uh, the main island, which is really good, actually, because we want to get as far away as possible so that the endermen from the island do not spawn. You can see it's finally coming into view again, and we're running at top speed. So, yeah, it's a quite long distance from here to the farm, uh, from the main island to the farm, but I'm hoping to maybe add some railroads, railroad, like, um, uh, mine carts. I'll ask Dykic if I can get some um, for half off because I'm going to be needing quite a lot because it's 200 blocks of so this like four stacks or something plus powered rails so yeah. Uh, anyway as you can see we are finally back and it's time for the next step. So I thought I should probably show what's happening right now. Uh, this is the spawn platform. This is where all the endermen are going to be spawning and then I don't know why, but apparently it improves the spawn rates if you're surrounded by leaves, which, by the way, are unspawnable. Endermen cannot spawn on them. And then I'm supposed to make three steps like this. And I'm supposed to put a slab on here. And then some carpets, I'm pretty sure, after that. Basically, this is going to be... Right here, I'm going to spawn an endermite, I think they're called. And endermen, for some reason, really, really hate endermites. So they're going to go after it. And then they're going to fall into our killing chamber, which is great. And that's basically how it's working right now. Um, so as soon as I take those off, Enderman spawn, and I have tested it out on accident. I forgot to light it up, and then I left, and then there's a bunch of Endermen right on there, because we're super away and from where things can spawn. Hey, did I kick? Um, so that's basically where we are at right now. By the way, Dyke has been working really hard on the end spawn room. This is what's happening right now. It's like beacons, these guys, these end crystals, and just a whole bunch of this. What? Oh, it's just a glitch and not bad. Good. I really, really like it. It's crazy. This is the portal. Anyway, I'm going to go back in and start working on... Oh. Hey zombie pigman. Start working on, uh, finish up working on the enderman farm. Alright everyone, look at this, that in there, you can't see it, but there's an endermite, and endermen hate endermites, so that's great, that means that they'll be attracted to it. So that means that we're so close, and I'm sorry guys, but I'm going to have to make this video really short than usual, because to be honest, this is the hardest video I've ever done, this is the longest it's ever taken me. So, yeah, I'm sorry guys, there's nothing I can really do. I don't have much time to do this video. But anyway, I'm going to continue on with this uh, farm. Alright guys, it took me more, like, it took me about three hours just to make this. But check it out, ready? Wabam! There are so many Endermen here. It is insane. I'm at 42 levels and I'm gaining them super fast. Ready? They're all gone. But then all of a sudden, they just pile in again. It's insane. This is incredible. I'm so so happy with how this has turned out they just keep piling in it's amazing and like you can, must gain levels super fast because i'm at 43 and i'm gaining them like quite fast once ever whenever i get a big group because once you get to 43 levels it's really really hard to get past them uh, get past that uh but if we look into the chest this has been like i've been doing this for like less than a minute I have this, and they're still piling in, and also grab a few there. And we have this. It is so efficient. I it, It's insane, guys. So if you guys were thinking about making it, but you weren't sh making this model, but you weren't sure, it's definitely worth it. Nembom, you are incredible. Hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Uh, but anyway, it's linked down in the description to his video. I really, really suggest 
uh, making this because it's super, it, it does take a long time to make, uh, but except for getting the Endermite, it's super duper, duper easy to make. So I really, really highly suggest going and making it. Sadly, that's all I have time for today though. So if you guys did enjoy this video, then please hit that like button. Uh, hit the subscribe button too if you guys want to help me out. Uh, just keep in mind that like once I hit a thousand subscribers or so, I can start like getting like making this into a job. And if you guys want to help me make this into a job and see a lot more videos from me, then please hit that subscribe button. But I'm sad that I have to go, but I will see you guys hopefully uh, next Saturday. Yeah, yeah, next Saturday. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and goodbye.